Ugh. I knew it was impossible to avoid you much longer. I was wondering why it smelled like expired moose jerky in here. A new perfume or just your breath? Let's dispense with the pleasantries, okay? Thankfully, so far we've been able to stay out of each other's way for the most part. But as we both climb the ranks of SmackDown, that's not going to be an option anymore. And there's only room for one of us at the top. Well, I hope you enjoy the view from down below. I'll tell you how things look from the top of the mountain, while you close your eyes and imagine what it would be like if you were as good as me. When I close my eyes, the only thing I see is you lying broken on the mat. Why don't you step in the ring with me, so I can make it a reality? I'll get in the ring with you. I could use a warm-up match before I face some real opponents. Well, looks like I picked the right week to visit SmackDown. I hear you and Josie are getting in the ring. Yep, should be fun. Let me offer you some advice and you can do what you like with it. I know a lot about deep-rooted feuds and squaring off versus someone from Calgary. There are a lot of ways to win, but the choices you make will determine the kind of superstar fans see you as. Makes sense. So the question is, do you take Josie out in the ring, or do you get her before she even makes it there? Just like always, I'm a step ahead, and Josie won't know what hit her. Until she looks up and sees you. Bold choice. But I get where you're coming from. Jane is attacked from behind. Apparently her opponent didn't want to wait for the bell to ring. These two are evenly matched, but maybe not after this. What an explosive start to this match between Josie Jane and her incensed opponent. These two superstars haven't crossed paths yet in a major way since arriving on SmackDown, but that all changes here tonight. Soak it in, WWE Universe. We could be witnessing the very first blows of the next great rivalry in WWE. We're crushing the knee there. Oh, foot just stomping down. Oh, oh man. Good grief. Turn your lights out. She steers clear of that one. Reversal. Can she capitalize? Look at this. Here we go, guys. Dragon Sleeper. It's the Dragon Sleeper. I don't know what choice she has except to tap out here. She's going to have to tap. Now, that's a really weird position to be in, but, man, she's flexible there. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. Oh, and Falcon Arrow! She's starting to look concerned. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. Great. Turn your lights out. I don't know if Josie can withstand much more of this. And Josie needs to find that spark. Soul kick. Well, that hurt. Roundhouse combo. She flips it back on her. Striking at will. Great counter. Kick right to the midsection. Impressive reversal there. Arm ringer snapping the fingers. Nasty. Delivers the sling blade. She has her target weighed and measured. Arms trapped. Right kick. Giving the people a chance to take in her undeniable greatness. She's rising back up on those wobbly legs. Cutter flattened. Josie is out. That's it. Up high. Shooting star press. Is it enough? The cover. Oh, somehow to keep this match going. No way, no way. I refuse to believe that wasn't three. Oh. 
multiple stomps. And proving a bit slippery for them there. Take down. Oh, helicopter spin. This is ridiculous. This is insulting. This is entertaining. Plenty of hits coming her way now. Striking at will. Good timing with that reversal. She avoids the attack completely. Mat slam. With some attitude. Ooh, right to the arm. She manages to get control. Ooh, a flurry of brutality. We're about to see Face Breaker. Breaker. Can it be capitalized on? Two. And a win here tonight. That'll change your career. Here is your winner, Alice Frost. She's got to be proud of this win. Josie Jane is a battle-tested veteran, so I don't expect this unfortunate loss to slow her down one bit. I know a lot of people will be rooting for Josie to bounce back quickly. I hope you're not spending too much time celebrating or reading your mentions on social media. I'm spending the exact right amount of time celebrating the absolutely glorious way I shut you down. You might have beaten me once, but I just talked to Adam Pierce, and now we're doing a best of three series. Nice of him to let me know. I'm letting you know now. And I'll let you know that I'm going to beat you twice to prove who's ready to take their career to the next level. Unless you can't handle that kind of pressure. Wait a second. What did you do to deserve a second opportunity? I was taught that you had to earn your chances. Losers go to the back of the line. There is no loser yet. Let's talk after the next match. Oh yeah, I like her a lot. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Kenya, Alice Frost. This superstar survived training with Booker T and battled through the Indies before she got the call to report to Orlando. And she leveled up the train alongside icon Shawn Michaels and Beth Phoenix at the Performance Center. And now we're going to see the results of the training. Such a talented competitor. I think we're about to see you. First match on SmackDown, and fans everywhere will be watching on the edge of their seats tonight to see if they can do it again here in what has now become a best out of three series. Legends from all around the WWE Universe have weighed in to voice their enthusiasm over this electrifying new robbery, and I'm right there with them. Did you hear that, John Cena? Saxton's with you. What a relief. Now, this is just a ruthless attack. Oh, such aggression. Well, that'll do some serious damage. She's got an answer for that. Eat defeat. Knew what was coming there. Avoiding contact. These two showing how well scouted they each are. This is gonna be ugly, no doubt about it. Slingshot, decapitator! 
Headed to the top now. Sky high. Shooting star press. Shoulders down for the count. Maybe she knew that wasn't going to put her away, but it definitely kept her down for a beat. Stomping down. Ooh, she just turned it around. Well, that's one way to leave the ring, I suppose. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Turning the tables. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, colliding with a barricade. Re-enters under the ropes. She begins to stir back up, but does it look good? Oh, my goodness. Wow, look at that agility. Oh, boy, that's a determined stare that's come across her face. She scores big with the counter. Jeez. Uh-oh, full mount, hammer fists, striking at will. The ref might want to stop this one. One after another. As the wrist trapped, and now a series of stomps and kicks. Great counter. That's a forearm that'll floor you. Oh my God, the moonsault. Josie Jane reverses. Looks like Josie's got the upper hand now, trying to do everything she can to make up for losing their first encounter. Wait a second, Josie's locked in an R bar. Will this be it? Will Josie Jane tap? Hold on, her shoulders are on the mat. Josie taps. The referee just counted the pinfall. But Josie might have tapped first. Maybe, but it's Josie who gets the win. I don't think the referee ever saw the tap out. I don't know who's more confused about this outcome, but clearly only one superstar is happy with it. This happens sometimes, Cole. The referee called what he saw. Was it correct? Not really. A hard-fought battle between these two, but you can't fault anyone who's not Josie Jane for coming out of this feeling a bit frustrated and disappointed. Extending this rivalry was absolute genius. Whose idea was that again? That's right, mine. Technically, it was Booker T and John Cena's idea, but sure, way to go. You know, it wouldn't hurt to compliment your boss every now and then. Might earn you some bonus points. Why are we not talking about the fact that she didn't even win? The way that match ended was ridiculous. I won the series 2-0. Josie tapped, end of story. Except it's not. It was a close finish, but you were pinned. So there will be a third match. But since you don't feel like you got a fair shake, I'll make this final match two out of three falls. You can call it a third match. You can call it a best out of five series overall. You can call it whatever you want, but it's happening. Brilliant idea, Adam. How was that? Shut up, Josie. Ladies and gentlemen, we have already had two back-to-back -back classics in this series between Josie Jane and her budding SmackDown rival, and tonight the trilogy will be complete. Will we see another controversial finish here like their previous match? We shall see, but I'd prefer if they never finish because I can watch these two compete all day. Well, you can't, Saxton, because it all ends here. And what better way to wrap up a best of three series than with a best two out of three falls match? Bravo, Adam Pierce. Bravo. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Steered clear of that. Oh, the knee takes a big hit. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extends your elbow. Oh, quite an effective counter. Oh, look at mounting, and now the oh. punch is hammering away. Ruthless. Striking at will. Oh, working on the arm. Yeah. 
Turnbuckle's the only thing keeping her upright. Dragon sleeper locked in. Oh, oh my God. Coming in it early. And she kicks out right away. Still too fresh to stay down. Oh, what a kick. Counters. She saw it coming. Great job refocusing to reverse that. Able to avoid there. Counter after counter. Sling blade action. Punch right to the face. Oh, right off the turnbuckle. Looking bad for her here. Solid form. Waist lift. Yeah, raw power there. Fine buster. She's able to get out of the way. Back drop. Ooh, she responds with a counter. Now, this is just a ruthless attack. Oh, such aggression. Oh, kick connects. Well, that hurt. Roundhouse combo. Setting it up. If this lands, it's over. There it is. Running in Jigari. Into the pin attempt. Two count. She was close to the end there. Very close. The T clearly set again. What a counter. Finds the advantage after a string of counters. Scorpion kick. You can sense what her intentions are here. She turns it right around with a counter. Able to reverse that one. She had it scouted. Each superstar. Adio. That should do it right there. Shoulders down. And they're still in this. Escaping that pin must have taken almost everything she's got. Well worth it. Look how frustrated her opponent is. Was not able to seal the deal with her best move. Now she's asking, what more can I do? Each competitor showing they've done their homework. Arms trapped. Right kick. And now she's looking to go top rope. Take off. Whoa! Diving corkscrew moves up. Josie is in a distressing spot. Josie has to trust her instincts at this point. Reversal. Can they go on the attack? Oof. What a punch. She's fighting back. She isn't allowing that burst of attacks to put an end to her. One. Still in it. What a gutsy performance. Had that one scouted. And another counter. Back and forth from these competitors. The close of this match is just ahead. Truly fighting to the last breath, but we might be coming up on that soon. A big forearm connects. She returns the favor there. Nasty kick. Clearly waiting for that. Countered it just in time. Set up for a second time. Face breaker. She can't possibly come back from that. Uh-oh. Poised and ready. Set up. There it is. Running in Jigari. She's about to rise up to something catastrophic. Cutter. It's a wrap.
She is playing to celebrate here tonight. It may be irrational, but I blame Josie's trainer, Riley Flash, for Josie's loss. We've all blamed Riley for a lot of things over the years, and it's usually fair.